Hey, hi, this is Krubakaran Rajendran, founder of Algo Trading from SquareOfBots.com. So last week we have seen a video about Chat GPT, trading with Chat GPT. What are the different functions I used with Chat GPT? How did I upload a file to test something to check how the overall market movement has been? Those were the things we checked in the last video. So that was kind of an introduction to Chat GPT. So you no, know, I found it really helpful for the last two weeks. I've been using it. You know, as I said in the earlier video. I'm using chat gpt4 version which is a paid version so by default most of the users don't get access to that you need to make a payment of 20 dollars per month to get access to it so in this video i wanted to showcase how backtest is done see backtest is a task which is no like limited to only third party applications or no if you know really good with coding then you could do it but people who do not know coding is it possible to backtest using chat gpt where you just send uh, know the required rules in simple plain text the system would be able to understand what you're saying and it would be able to backtest it so to get started with instead of you no know, showcasing a complex backtest system let me show you how you can download an historical data and then how you can send in rules to chat gpt to backtest it any kind of simple trading strategy so that is what we are going to focus on today so let me open chat gpt first and let's get started with it so i'm just open chat.openai.com so once you open it, you will have an access like you will have two things, chat GPT 3.5 and chat GPT 4. So chat GPT 4 by default, it will not be enabled. You need to pay a subscription cost of you know, $20 per month to get access to it. And once you make a payment, you will get access to these things. Default browser with Bing, advanced data analysis, plugins and DALI. So these things are not totally different. So let us show you how I can, I mean, how you can use advanced data analysis once you select this then you will have an option plus mostly you no know, this plus symbol will not be there because with chat gpt 3.5 it is not enabled but once i select chat gpt 4 with the you know, advanced data analysis i'll get an option to upload the file so once i click on it i can just upload the historical data so let me show you how you can upload the historical data so you just have to google uh, you know, nsc historical data and just search then you will have multiple options then you will see an option or a link called nifty indices historical reports you click that it will take you here no niftyindices.com page in the drop down select equity and in the index so we'll just try to backtest a simple system uh, with nifty 50. so from the index you select nifty 50 and the time period you select probably from january 2023 to till date and click on submit then you know you will have this data date high open low close then just click on download it would automatically download the historical data historical eod data so now we have the data you just open the data so the data will have these values you know date open high low close value so the date is the latest date so using this value open high low close values we are going to create a simple uh, you know a trend following system a positional trend following system so now we have chat gpt and now we have uh, you know nsc historical data for the last one year eod data so how do we do a simple back test oh, we'll do a trend following system no complex rules the rules are simple if today's close price is higher than yesterday's high price we will buy it if today's clo no close price if it is lower than yesterday's low price we are going to short it that's all so let me try uploading this file uh, nifty 50 historical data then i'm just telling the details to chat gpt attached is the nifty eod historical data see with respect to chat gpt you need to be as clear as possible you can't just upload a file and ask to you know back test you need to specify every detail you know every single element so that it understands clearly your requirement and then only you know it can proceed further and then giving you results i'm mentioning i want to back test a trading strategy with this data so you no, know, the chat gpt would automatically do all the analysis for you to write the code whatever that is essential and it would create the necessary you know new data sets so i'm mentioning let's redo the work update the original uploaded data set with the following information so we are asking it to sort it based on date check each date if current you know, close price is higher than previous day high price if yes then mention buy in the next column and check if each date see if the current close price is you know lower than the previous day low price if yes mention sell in the next column let me download 
the new data set so that it will just upload i mean update the you know evd data which we have already uploaded it to chat gpt let the, you know the chat gpt would do the analysis and update whenever you know the buy is satisfied it will mention that whenever sell is satisfied it will mention there so that you no know, we will verify and then we will proceed further so as you could see you now we can ignore this false and true because we were not able to understand clearly so it created a new signal here where it is you know initially the buy order was satisfied because the close price is higher than the previous day high price so condition satisfied and the next sell order was created because this you now this close price is lower than the previous day low price so condition satisfied sell so buy is followed by sell and then next day also condition satisfied so it is mentioning sell and again it is mentioning sell but it shouldn't be the case once buy is followed it should be followed by sell sell should be followed by buy and it should be followed by sell so the, here there is a buy signal right so once buy signal is there we just have to exit this buy signal there shouldn't be multiple buy signal like this so we have to tell chat gpt to remove all this part so to showcase us with the clear details of it should be buy followed by sell it shouldn't be like not this so that it will correct itself and give us the correct report so i am mentioning it that see on uh, no 13th it triggered a buy order because as per the back test i could see on 30th it is triggered a buy order but again on 17th it is triggered another buy order so this is false so i'm just giving it an example how it could happen so once buy is triggered sell should be triggered and once sell is triggered buy should be triggered so i'm just sending it so that it should correct itself so now it has updated it so let us download the new file and verify it so this is the new file now so new file seems to be correct see buy followed by sell buy followed by sell then buy sell buy so now the signals has been generated correctly then the do all those duplicate uh, no buy sells has been removed now so now whenever buy is there there should be buy price it should be that day close price whenever sell is there that day is close price should be sell correct so we need these values so that we can calculate the overall pnl report so let us ask chat gp2 to create this buy sell values so now i am mentioning yeah the file that you have recently created is correct so based on the signal that you have generated now we are going to you know calculate the buy price sell price short entry price short exit price and everything so i'm just sending this prompt to chat gpt to do further analysis so that it can pull up those buy values sell values basically entry values and exit values and it has instantly done that so let us download the file new file and verify it by ourselves so this is the file you buy it and then you sell it which is your exiting your buy position and then going short so that is why it is mentioned short entry here so this is the short entry price and then again when the buy signal comes you are covering that short so that is why short exit is here so you are covering that short and then going long here so likewise it's kind of a you know, stop and reverse system you whenever buy signal is there you just go long whenever sell signal appears you just sell exit the long signal and then go short so likewise it automatically creates all the buy sell values so all these values are based on the close price only so you know by day end close price it is considering first let's check whether this particular strategy is profitable or not which is going long when current day close price is higher than previous day high and going short when current day close price is lower than previous day's low price so it has generated all the values right now let us calculate the overall pnl report let's calculate the pnl report so it would automatically write all those quotes whatever we have mentioned based on that it would generate the report now i think it has generated the report so let us check that now so the report is generated see the long entries and short entries it is separate long entries and separate short entries so this is the overall pnl which is minus 544 so the long entry pnl is approximately 450 points short entry pnl is approximately 1000 points loss so based on this strategy where you are going long when previous you know current day close is higher than previous day high it is giving you profits but when you are going short when current day's close is lower than previous day's low price then it is giving loss so based on this long let us check what is the overall pnl what is the overall maximum drawdown or what is the overall monthly pnl based on long entry calculate and plot the following charts 
so we have asked it to create three different charts which is the overall returns by the long entry what is the overall maximum drawdown run and what is the monthly pnl it that based on this uh, buy sell rules so again it would do all the coding for you and see this is the overall returns that it has generated for the long entries and this is the overall maximum drawdown this is around 600 points and this is the monthly pnl chart so whatever you know the informations that you give based on that the perfect output would be you know given by the chat gpt so once you go through step by step you can ensure okay it is working on the right path it is removing the duplicate values all those things you can ensure and then finally when it is giving you the you know final output you can be very sure okay this data is correct so do if you are dealing with chat gpt first and foremost thing have a clean data make sure the data doesn't have you know bad entries and second thing give clear cut instructions so that you would really know that it is going in the right path and finally when you get the output you can finally decide okay whether the strategy is deployable or not so this is how you can use chat gpt for all the backtest purposes so i hope you found this video really helpful in case if you guys have any questions please post in the comment section i'll address